Welcome to West Coast Wednesday here on Prospectors Radio with Kathleen Biffle, Rich Cooley, Scott Swiftwater Tony, Indiana Gold Hunter, Dennis Dayton, and your host, Tim Grimes. We hope you enjoy the show and thanks again for listening. All right, everybody, welcome back to another edition of Prospector Radio. I'm your host, Tim Grimes. Joining me as always. Yeah, we yeah. were both talking to each other. <laughs> Get the heck out. Oh, it says it's reconnecting. Oh, that, that, there we are. It did. I did lose signal. It's uh, it's kind of getting ready to storm. It's thundering and crap. Maybe that's what happened. No clue. Let's see if it does it again. Wow, weird. Yeah, yeah. You went yeah, out talking. Me and, me and Rich is going to hate. We're talking like, hey, well, I think we lost him. And <laughs> yeah, I did the whole intro, and next thing you know, I'm like, nope, nobody there. Oh well. Well, what's going on, fellas? Nothing, but hey, I want to thank everybody for coming in to listen tonight. You know, it's Wednesday. It's kind of a chill, laid-back week. I'm back from Idaho, finally. Uh, had a good time up there, you know, and met some great people. You know, Janet, Cowboy Dean, and a lot of the friends that we know are up there. And I just, I'll tell you what, it's, it's good to be back home, but it, it's still hot just a little bit. Uh, but I don't mind it. We get, we actually, like you, Tim, we've got a, actually a storm moving in tonight here. And really? I'm surprised. Yeah. Wow. Well, they say it's monsoon season, but oh, yeah, you know, I still, I still think a monsoon's a three-week rain. That dreaded <laughs> monsoon season, right? <laughs> yeah. So everybody out here on the uh, west coast, uh, word to the wise: keep your eyes on the prize and keep your uh, keep your peeled on the weather north of you. Or you know, flash floods have happened already. So if you're out dry washing or something like that, you don't want to get caught up in that ugly mess with a dry washer because once you get caught, you're you're going to lose a bunch of equipment. Right. So be be smart. Pay attention to the weather. It's north of you all the time. Well, heck yeah. Without a doubt. Yeah. My stuff's just, stuff's acting weird on my end. <clears throat> yeah. I just, Could be. Yeah, it's strange. Strange and unusual. So I'm just getting stuff ready for my trip. Oh, wait. Your crabbing trip. Yeah, my crabbing trip this weekend. Gone crabbing. <laughs> <laughs> Did you make a little song? And I get to do some uh, magnet fishing. Magnet fishing. Yep, magnet fishing. Magnet fishing. That's just the coolest right there. I'm telling you. Yep, I got don't... me a magnet and a nice rope attached to it and wing it out there and see what I can find. Heck yeah. I think that's going to be the fun part, you know? Yeah. Heck yeah, get out there and... Hopefully I'll find some crab traps, some fishing poles, and whatever else. You never know what you'll find, you know? <laughs> you have no clue. That's what's cool about it. Yeah, Tim, that's actually one of the people I've, I've been looking for on on YouTube to get a hold of is a guy that does magnet fishing. I thought it'd be a kind of a cool West oh, Coast see, Wednesday that would show. Be. Yeah, that would, would be great. It would be, man. But like I said, it's so hard to get a hold of people because they're all doing stuff. <laughs> it's summertime. That's the joys yeah. of summertime, you know? It's... The only thing you can do is put the feelers out and hope they get back Right, to you. right. That is. That's about all you can do, you know? Right. And, uh, but, you know, it always gets better in the winter because people are home. This time of year, it's just rough getting, getting people. But, I mean, put the feelers out anyway. Send them a message, Scott, see if maybe you want to come on one night, you know? I'm gonna I'm gonna try, but you know people get nervous about being on the radio and stuff too. Yeah, I so. know. You think it was TV, right? I I know, right? <laughs> it's not. I always tell them it's no different than what you're doing right now, talking to me on the phone. Same thing, you know. Same. Yeah. Hopefully thing. we can get Aqualand relics on. Uh huh. There's a buddy of mine that worked with me, and I think he's from Hagerstown, Maryland, Maryland, I believe. Oh, he right. He does metal detecting and. He just went magnet fishing too here recently. Yeah, see, I'm getting me a magnet now. Now you got. Well, there's actually if you get on Facebook and you type in magnet fishing, oh, there is groups. actually a, a page for just magnet fishers. Oh yeah, there's mm -hmm. groups. You know, yeah, yeah. No, definitely. You know, heck. I tell you what though, Tim. As much as I like to talk and do videos, uh huh. The first time I first time I got on the radio, I mean the first couple times I was nervous. Oh, dude, I was too. I was. I loved it. I was. <laughs> I wouldn't. I, I wasn't. Me, that's Rich. Rich I remembers. Sure. Yeah, I remember Rich. Don't we? We was like, dang. 
it was yeah it was definitely nerve <clears throat> you're the ah, dang it I just lost signal again real quick oh really yeah I can still hear you yeah it was just on the broadcaster so they might have lost <laughs> us for a two seconds or something what the heck is happening tonight? God darn the internet. You gotta love the internet. Oh, I gotta tell you. Hey, and man. everybody, man, have you seen that stuff Kathleen's been posting? Oh, those lucky guys. Yeah. They're killing it. Yeah. I mean, that's that's awesome. Yeah, I'm waiting for the latest update from them, so. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, All they're killing it. Every other day or. Yeah, I guess. Or something. Especially with gold prices going up. That's the time yeah. to be on a gold prospecting trip like that. That's for sure. You know, and I'm happy for them. So hopefully they just keep killing it. They got, they still got some time. Well, last can... time she posted was 51 <clears throat> something grams. Mm-hmm. And they posted a picture the next day of a kind of a, I don't know if it was a McCurt sluice or what it was that had a good bit of gold in. She mm-hmm. said maybe another ounce. So mm-hmm. I don't know. I don't know. Yeah. So. And they still got a week and a half or two weeks, something like that, left to go. Yeah. So they're doing yeah, fine. They sh- if they don't come back, if they don't come back with at least six ounces, I will be surprised. Wow. I mean, just surprised. Yeah. That'll be cool. You know, ain't nothing wrong with that. That's for sure. No, especially since gold went up. So. Yeah, right. I mean, that's the thing. If it goes up. There ain't nothing wrong with that. That is for sure. Rich, you gonna do some gold prices and birthdays tonight? Yeah, let me see if I can bring the gold. Let's see what up that here. gold price is right now, Rich. Let us let her rip, Tater Chip. I want to know what that is. Well, according to our site, it says we, it was up twenty four dollars at one thousand four hundred ninety seven, but I heard what Scott said it was fifteen oh two when it closed. So yeah, so and we got the silver is up sixty one cents. How much? Rounding out at 1706. Sweet. (laughs) It says platinum is up $14, rounding out at $865. Palladium is down $16, $1,415. Dang, that's cool. Silver's making its move. Gold's climbing. Silver bell. Gold's booming. Tell you. What is is happening here? I like it. I want to see silver just skyrocket because it's that little it's that little underdog you know it's it was it like 14 15 16 now it's at 17 mm-hmm. <laughs> well, you know we're not using I just don't feel we're using the silver like we used to you know apparently not apparently they don't make yeah. silverware no more well I thought Canada gold was up pretty high too I think it was up to like 2000 something I thought uh-huh. you're wrong is there? Yeah. Oh, I guess that there would be a difference, right? The Canadian market and American. Well, it was market. either Canada or Australia. I can't remember which one I've seen. Oh wait, <laughs> wasn't that Australian market? It could have been. I don't. Know. Yeah, I would actually talk to my Canadian friend, but he's at the Yukon dig, and he showed a picture the other day. He's standing in front of a big wash plant up there. I'm like, man, really? Me? Yeah. You you guys lost me again? Yep, because yeah. I was talking to Rich. <laughs> and remember that sound I told you I heard earlier, Rich? That buoy deep sound? Yeah. That's what I keep. That's what I hear every time I'm losing you guys. Mm. I don't know what the heck yeah, is going on. Know. Yeah, Jaron just put on there. Hold on to your gold and silver. Don't sell it. Cops gonna hit the fans soon. What's going propping up the stock market to prevent it from crashing, but they can't forever. So, uh, hold on to your stuff. Hanging on to it. <laughs> well, like I said, gold is a supply and demand kind of thing, and I know right now it's people's moving their money around because of the tariffs that's going on in China and stuff like yeah, that. But, the going yeah. on. but I don't believe that that's making the biggest impact. Of it. Like I said, yeah, China for China for two or three years has been buying gold up like potato chips to a junkie, you know? Uh-huh. Uh, heck, I don't know. Okay, Charles Hansen said, we don't hear no one. Can you guys hear us? Should be able to. Shows were live. I don't know what the heck's happening tonight. Just stupid weather. Just stupid sky. I can hear you. Well, yeah, I know you can. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Yeah, they said you could yeah. hear us. All right, good. Thank you, Michael. Okay. Appreciate it. Yeah, so, I don't know. Could just be this crazy weather, too. Yeah. Well, that's good. I'm glad to see the prices climbing. We'll see yeah. what happens. We'll keep an eye on it, for sure. Yeah. So, How about the birthdays? Oh, wait a minute. It's, Dennis is here. So, that means a song is in order. I don't have order. the list. Well, Rich... I got it. Rich got it, but Dennis got to sing. Dennis, are you get your singing voice all queued up there? Oh, you know I do. All right, well, let her rip. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Day to you. Da, da, da. And many more. <laughs> Alrighty then. Alrighty. Alright. Today's birthday. Hopefully I won't sneeze in the middle of it because I can feel something coming out. <laughs> we got Alvin <laughs> King Wilkerson. We got AU Hunter, which is the Gold Hunter. We got Boomer. We got Brian Beckwith. We got Kit Andrews. Larry Alderson. Larry Edwards, Randy Easy Nugget, we got Walt Schmidt, and Water Lappers. Tomorrow birthdays, we have Charlie Cockle, uh, Clay Gunderson, Eric Westman, Gary Hayes, Geo Goldhound. We got a lot of them. Joseph Pacitical, I don't know how to say that one. Uh, Ken Brown. <laughs> Larry W., Mark Cairo, and Quest. Bye. Uh, Happy Joseph birthday. Piscitello. That what? P-I-S-C-I-T-E-L-L-O. Piscitello? Piscitello. That's what it sounds like to me. Yeah, yeah. that's what it sounds like. Piscitello. All right, let's pick AU Hunter. Gold Hunter? Okay. Gold Hunter. Gold Hunter. He is out of Redding, California. Uh huh. And I'm froze up. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. There he is. Sweet. All right. Type prospecting does trommel, sluicing, high banking, and panning. He doesn't belong to any clubs, I guess, besides this one. Uh, how'd you find the site? His brother? Who referred to you to the site? His brother? I don't know who his brother is. I don't know. Uh, and then what kind of equipment does he use? Gold Fox Extreme XL, Trommel, Gold Hog Mats, Keen A52 Sluice, High Bankers, and Blue Bowls. Oh, very so, cool. Happy birthday to everyone. Yes, happy day. definitely. Happy, happy day. birthday, everybody. And thank you so much, Rich, for the birthdays and... The precious metal yeah. prices. Birthday, yeah. well, there you go. So you guys having a good week so far? Oh, yeah, I can't wait till week's over, man. I'm ready to go. You're I'm ready. ready. <laughs> oh yeah, you're ready to just go on your trip. Yeah, you're ready to go cramping. Yeah, I'm. I'm ready to. It, it's been a while since I've been out. Since my last Virginia trip, and <laughs> it's been a while. So I'm ready to get out and have a good weekend and cook. And I'm taking my camp chef stove with me again. And Nice. Uh, I'm staying in a, it's called a camping cabin. Yeah. And it has like a full bed when you go in, a little small picnic table. Then it goes into a back room and has another bed back there with two bunk beds. Okay. And I'm staying in it myself and it has a ceiling fan in it and electric. Okay, that's, that sounds so, cool, right? I mean. Basically all I need is something to sleep on. And Oh, yeah. And I'm going to set my uh, Camp Chef stove out on the porch with my cooler. And I'm going to make Canadian bacon with eggs in the morning. Well, man. On Saturday it. morning when I get up and have some hash browns and some toast. and Living the dream. <laughs> and then hit the pier and go on crabbing. And then at noon, we're going over to another military base, I guess, on the other side of the bay. Uh -huh. And we're going to take some kayaks out. Oh, okay. Gotta go kayaking a little bit. Nice. Now, are you gonna go? Are you blue crabbing or no? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 
Yep. Blue crab. Blue crab. Blue crab. Yeah, I'm gonna. I've never been in a kayak. I've been in all kinds of boots and all that, but I've never been in a kayak. So okay, that'll I'm be. I go kayaking with oh. my neighbor's wife. We're gonna go out. She's gonna take me out on the bay, and we're gonna have some fun. Cool, man. That'll be fun if you've never done it. Anything you kayaks do. are ca kayaks are like canoes. You just gotta set back and enjoy the ride, and just, just keep your balance. It's easy. Right, and these newer ones, it's even easier, ain't it? Oh yeah. Right. Yeah. <clears throat> this one is not one that you're gonna slide down in. I'll be on top of this one. Right, right. I don't want one of them things, neither rich that you yeah, slide I down be able to in. Move around. Yeah, I want to be able to escape that sucker if I have to. <laughs> right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. That's the way I see it. Yeah. Too. Be in What's that? I want one you can, the ones that's got the flat back, you put a trolling motor on it, you don't have to oar. Yeah, right, that too. You put a little trolling Yeah, Dennis, that. right now you could get those for 99 bucks. They're cheap. Believe it or not. Yeah. Yeah, and you could fish off of them too. Yeah. Do you gotta, do you Ooh, gotta put, at. do you gotta put license stickers on them things, Scott? I don't think you do, do you? N no, you not, uh, not on the Yeah, you... with a trolling motor maybe, but. But other than that, you don't have to? No, not that I've ever seen. I know, because it I seems like everybody... I have seen them. I, I'm trying to remember where. Huh. All right. I think I have... I thought I had a bookmark, but I don't know. Because there's a couple yeah, never... places that I want to go... There are a couple places I want to go prospect that it's hard to get in through with a boat. Man, a kayak could be perfect. I could throw all my prospecting gear in it and go. Yeah, that would be cool. Well, you, I mean, I don't know how, where you would throw it in there unless you were just throwing a pan and a shovel or something. Yeah, yeah, just the basics. You could strap it down on top, you know, wrap the bungee all the way around it. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> but they are cool. I mean, I'd like to have one just for fishing some of these small inland lakes. They're, well, yeah. these are, these are just, you could slide them in the back of your truck. They're yeah. Pretty, they're pretty cool. Lightweight. Cool. Yeah. And I, I know I got the link here. I almost knocked myself off of Skype. <laughs> no, you like did, that. because it said no, Scott Tony joined. So and they're done that. You did, yeah, Scott. It, you got to open another window when you do that stuff, you know. It kicked <laughs> you. It did. I just don't know what's going on tonight. So I'm not the only one having these issues. And then after, after we get back from kayaking, then I'm going to do some uh, using the magnet fishing, and then we'll probably end up well, for lunch, we'll probably end up eating crabs, whatever we catch in the morning. Hopefully, we catch some. Oh, so, I'm are you sure going to magnet fish in the bay, or are you going to magnet fish in, like, creeks? I'm going to do it right off the pier, right where we crab. Yeah? Oh, I'll yeah. throw some traps out, and when I get bored, I'll just start magnet fishing. Start throwing the magnet out, right? Yup. I'm Steering telling crabs you. crabs over to the traps. Say... <laughs> He's gonna find a bunch of traps. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to get some traps. That would be excellent. Probably gonna find some old traps in there. Yeah, that'd be I know cool. I got two of them out there. See, maybe you'll get I'll lucky. I'll tell you one thing. What? After being off work for almost a month, mm -hmm. it sucked having to go back to work. Oh sure, definitely, oh, definitely does. Nobody wants to do that. Go back to work. Uh, no, especially after being off almost a month. I mean, I was like, what, two days shy from having a whole month off. Jeez. Yeah. Oh, I got a 50-foot <clears throat> rope. There's no way I'm throwing that magnet that far. 50-footer? But... <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty heavy magnet. Mm, what kind of rope did you get, Rich? Oh, I don't know. Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. One of them, like, soft kind of ropes, like we use for our dredges. Yeah, pretty much. They're, uh, yeah, it's, it's like that. Yeah, not I don't like know. Probably your thing or what they are. I don't know. Yeah, not like a clothesline, but. No, no. no not it's that. It's like a your thing type thing. Yeah, kind of soft. It's like, it supposedly holds 300 pounds, but. Okay. Yeah. That magnet's not going to lift 250 pounds either, so. No, right. Rich, you better but be careful. You'll be able to lift that with a rope. You, you better be careful, Rich, because I guarantee you, Bub, you, you could probably throw that a lot further than 50 feet. Oh, yeah, if you wing it out there. Yeah, oh, boy. Now yeah, me, I would, I, I would get. I'm not bringing that thing out that far. That thing's heavy. What if oh, you okay. spin it like a thing? You know, spin it and then let it go and. Yeah, know, I'll probably, probably knock my far. buddy off the pier. 
<laughs> he had lasso in his feet. <laughs> All right, you don't want to do well, that. If then. I wing it up over my head and start swinging it around to throw it out, I'll probably take people out on the pier. Probably. Yeah, maybe just hold it in your hand and throw it like a baseball, right? Yeah. There yep. you go. There you go. Usually what I'll do is I'll tie it off on the pier. I'll throw right. it out the first time and then as further as I can get it and then tie it off on the pier. You right. start swinging it around, Rich. You'll, people start saying this guy's crazy. They'll get out of your way. You'll have the whole pier to yourself. Yeah. That's just true too. They'll move yeah, out. Yeah, I'm gonna way. do it at night too. Oh, well, there might not be nobody out there, huh? Yeah, I'm gonna do it at night also. We got lights down on the pier, so that'll be. Fun. Yeah, Dar said Patina came in. Yeah, that would. Oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, that would be too far to pull that thing back. <laughs> or get just some. Uh... Take forever. Some of that surgical tubing and tie it off on the deck mm -hmm. and make you a little pouch and launch it like a slingshot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wing. <laughs> hopefully, hopefully you don't throw it out there. It attaches to your cage you actually lost, and in the process of bringing it in, it gets wrapped around a log or stump, oh, and then suck. you lose your 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 magnet also. That All right. Would suck. Yeah, it could happen. Yeah, I guess it could. Never know. Yeah, but it's a joy of. How, how how much were the magnets, Rich? I think it was like 20 bucks. 20 bucks, okay. Yeah. I want to get a better one, though, anyway, so I don't care if I lose this one. Right. This where, is... where did you get it at, Rich? I got it at Harbor Freight. Harbor Freight. They have two of them there. They have one that's supposed to be 150 pounds, and the other one's supposed to be 250 pounds. But I, I can tell you right now, they're not going to lift that much. No. No. I, because I can't even pull that much, you know. If you're 15 feet down, you know you gotta be able to pull that up, like 200 pounds up. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm Not trying to. Hands, you know what I mean? Right. No, I know what you're saying. <clears throat> it's still, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be fun. Definitely yeah. want to try it. Someday. So, and and there's some other better ones online that's cheaper. You can get them for like 14 bucks online. Mm-hmm. Probably like so Am Amazon. And, and they're a lot smaller. They're round. The one I got is square, so it's kind of bulky. Right. I want one of the round ones online. You can get one for 14 15 bucks that are pretty good. And that's what I'm going to get next probably. That I just didn't want to have to wait until it came in the mail. I wanted to have something to take along. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh, I know what you're saying. So if you're not in a hurry, you can buy them online for 14 15 bucks. And okay. Get a better one, but... Definitely, definitely going to get one. I anyway, and then I got 20% off of it anyway, so it didn't matter. You know? Yeah, I'm definitely going to get one. Yeah. Dennis? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I want to I wanna try it. That way I can say I did it, and if I lose it, then I'll lose it, and I'll just get another one. Right. Oh, mercy. Did you guys just see that on your screen? What? <laughs> What? No. Why, how come you guys didn't see it? Well, I wasn't looking at the screen, I but I can tell. Oh, I can well, tell who. I can tell who come on the screen though. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'm sitting. I'm sitting here trying to look at your yeah. screen now, Scott. <laughs> <laughs> you rude really guy, you. I don't see anything. Oh what? my goodness. <laughs> you really don't. My know. eyes. My eyes. You know. Yeah. yeah. It definitely. Yeah, I don't see anything. Oh, no. <laughs> You're a lucky man, Rich. <laughs> <laughs> Good. I don't think I want to. <laughs> you don't. Be thankful. Your video isn't working. Mm. <laughs> How did yeah, you... I seen Jaron posted on the site there the gold daily candles, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, for like the, <laughs> the stocks, the way the candles thingy. Yeah. Uh-huh. Mm. Oh, yeah. yeah. Yeah, you guys were talking, you know, we were talking pregame about, you know, how some of the things, you know, some of the things I, you know, wish we would have, I, I would have got in, you know, when it first come out, like uh, Amazon, you know, we were talking about Amazon when they first come out, and I'm like, what is Amazon? It's just an internet thing, I, you know, and I should have, should have invested a little bit of money in stock in that, yeah. because man, oh man, would, would it have paid off by today? Oh, yeah. But the other, one, the other one we were talking about was that Bitcoin. Yeah. yeah, yeah. You know, 
And I was real, really super skeptical about that. And I know there's a few Me of too. them that are on now <clears throat> that got into that Bitcoin. I even believe Jaron did. And, yeah. And uh, <clears throat> man, is it that Bitcoin? Is it paying off? Mm-hmm. Yeah, you just don't know. Yeah, it depends on what they bought it for. I mean, right. if they bought it, it was real, real cheap. Sure. No. Well, that's what it's about. Now they're making out like a bandit. No. That's what you you want. guys want to hear something funny? Yeah. That, they said only for a limited time only those kayaks were going to be that, and now they're back up to a thousand bucks. Get the heck out of here. Nope. You were, you could get one for a hundred and twenty bucks, yeah. and now they're back up to a thousand. The same nuts. ones I was looking at. Well, because it's summertime. <laughs> Dang wait, it! Wait until the fall. Be I knew I should have bought like four of those. I wanted to buy four of those kayaks, and then. Oh uh, you know, no! That's why I said if they're that cheap, I'm gonna definitely get one. Yeah, I wanted to flip it, but now the the website that you used to be able to get it off of it's well, it doesn't even hook up. But I look up the same cat, the same uh, the same company, and they they don't have the they don't have the cheap ones anymore. Well, I was gonna say I've never never seen them. That I have. I'm trying to remember where it was at. It was either Dick Sporting Goods or one of them. I went well, to. they were you know, actually come they to were think pushing them on King, Facebook. King has some really cheap. They're they're like two or three hundred bucks, but. I mean, they're not a hundred bucks, but Real King does have some sitting right outside. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And they're they're reasonable priced. Oh yeah. <clears throat> mm-hmm. Yep. 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 Yeah. You just don't know. You just got to keep an eye out. And then, like I said, in the fall they'll get cheaper. They'll be clearance in that stuff to get rid of it. You know, that's when you strike. Get you one cheaper. You'll have it for next spring. It'll but be... how do you know when to sell your stuff? Like what? When it gets to a certain point, how do you know when you cut your losses and say, hey, I want to make some money and sell your Bitcoin or sell your gold or sell whatever? I mean, Here? Well. I look at it this way. If you bought like if you bought gold for $300 an ounce and you're sitting on it and now it's up to $15, you do not be greedy. Sell it. <laughs> right. Sell, sell, sell. <laughs> yeah, because if you sit there and be greedy, that's when it's going to jump down back on you the next morning opening and you're going to go, oh, I wish I would have sold it. You know, twenty bucks is only twenty bucks. Right. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah Jaron yeah. says it's a long story and it takes a train dog. So. It is. It it's 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 takes time to get used to it. You know. Oh yeah. You gotta know what to look for, I guess. Uh -huh. yeah. And see, like when I was doing the stock market, I was doing what they call scalping. So that means I got to see trading as it was happening, not mm -hmm. two minutes or ten minutes in the future. Mm -hmm. And it's it's you got to be actually on a trading forum. To get that information, but it's that's that's the best way that to, to to watch out for your stuff, is to trade like that. But you know, there's guys that do like they'll buy so much gold and then they they gotta think that it's gonna be up by the end of the day. You know, that's like a long that's a day trade, and I don't like to do the day trade because you never What's know when it's charting? gonna go back down. What Jaron was talking about charting. That's the charts that you you watch to, yeah, you know, <clears throat> yeah. With theirs like candles, look like candles, green. Yeah, and red. Jared said that's what he does. Yeah, but. they go up yeah. and down. And, <laughs> I think Jared should call in because I know he was real big in that Bitcoin, and he could fill us in on what's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'd like, like I said, I tried. Like I said, I tried to explain a little bit on on the Bitcoin thing, but I mean, I, like I said, once you do a trade, and then like I said, everybody that has Bitcoins, they see it, and then they crunch your numbers with other people's numbers and then they come up with and that creates another bitcoin for them it's it's really odd mm -hmm. and there is some there is some videos on youtube about it but it's yeah yeah oh yeah yeah jared said this is a gold show <laughs> <laughs> well bitcoins are gold they're they're gold <laughs> they are now they are a treasure yeah yes That's the way they, I are see treasure. It. they are a treasure you know anything like that's a treasure you know, just like bottle hunting. I mean, that's a treasure. There's all kinds of different types of treasure hunting out there. You know, when you, and that's what we're about. Any basic, any kind of treasure hunting. Old treasure. That's right. Yep. You know, I mean, heck, even to some people, antiquing is a treasure hunting. You know, I mean, it's. It is. Exactly. I mean, it is. So, you know. <laughs> There's treasures in a lot of things. <clears throat> yeah, buddy. And we only cover a couple of them. That's, That's why we have it on the main title about treasure hunters on the page. That's right, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, definitely. I think next weekend, not this weekend, but next weekend, 
is the Indiana Gold Prospecting Outing. Oh, yeah. You got any? August 17th. Okay. To August, and August 18th at the Cottonwood Trails Camp. So don't forget about it. And then next on the list is August 31st. <laughs> September 1st would be the annual Ohio Gold Rush Days. Gold Rush Days. Then we have the L- LDMA Athens Camp on September 14th and 15th. Uh-huh. At the LDMA Athens Camp. And then we have the annual Rock, Gem, and Mineral Show on November 22nd, November 24th in Viridian Library and Event Center, wherever that's at. I wonder if that's going to be a rock show or a rock sale. <laughs> I don't know. It says Rock, Gem, and Mineral Show. Show. Okay, well, I went to that one out here, and it was what a rock mean by sale. a show and a sale? What's the difference? I know sale, they sell them. Show is what? They don't sell them. Heck, that half the shows, they sell them, too, though, you know? So well, it's... I mean, like the shows that I'm talking about, you go in, and there's people actually there that their finds are on the table, and they explain to you how they found it, you know, where they found it, and what they were doing. That's a show. Right. If you if you just walk in, and all, everything's, when you walk by a table, everything's 1995, that's a sale. Sure. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> but I swear half of them, you know... Even, well, like uh, take the gold shows that we all go to. Okay, you walk in there. There's some ta- there was some sale tables, but then there's a lot of tables that are information wise and built up to, you know, to show you that there where the gold is and stuff like that. That's a gold show. Right. Not well, like I said, these rocks the rock sales is what I call. It. Imagine going in there and there ain't nothing but just people with gold on the table just for sale. That's it. No mm-hmm. information. Nothing. You know, they could have got it from. Joe Blow in Canada or something, you know, you know, you just don't know. Right. Yeah. So I, I like the I like the shows. I like to get the informational parts out of it. You know, I talk to somebody that's actually been in Montana digging or South Dakota digging, and where and why and how. Why did they do dig where they were at? You know, that's that's an informational show. That's a show to me. Right. I got you. Well, you know, I like guess to me they're all show sales because seems like every show we go to they're selling stuff anyway. So. <clears throat> But that's what makes them cool, I think, because where you can yeah. go to the show and uh, look and find just something unique or different, and so that's cool. You know, it just depends, right, Scott? That's it. That's like why Gold sets there says having a manufacturer there to show the products is a show. That's that's the same thing I'm talking about. Right, right. Mm-hmm. <coughs> Agreed. Agreed. Okay. Now I think. Dennis, you were going to do a Lost Treasure where tonight? Where was you shooting for? Oregon? or? Uh, oh, I, am I doing it tonight? I thought yeah, you yeah, was, yeah. Yeah, because Scott didn't have nothing, so I thought you was going to roll with it tonight. Okay. Yeah, when we were, talk, uh, we were talking earlier, you were busy. So. You don't have to do it right this minute. I just, yeah, I was going to tell you, I've got a bookmark here. I think it was going to be... Uh, oh, here it is. Yeah. What was it? i got it? a bookmark here. Uh, yeah, it was going to be uh, Oregon. Oregon, yeah, that's what I thought it was. I wasn't sure, so yeah. So we, yeah, while well, we're still, still talk, I've, I've that means I got to minimize the screen and bring it up because I got two things: one on my my book here, and one I'll bring up on the yeah, internet. Yeah, go ahead and get your stuff all ready. Yeah, well, we still got to do our Amra commercial and all that oh, yeah. jazz, so you're fine. You know, just uh, I didn't know. I was trying to think where it was. I thought for sure we had said he was going to do Oregon, so. That'll yeah, cool. there's there's quite a few in Oregon. That's too, what so. I thought you said that there was a lot, you know. Yeah. Okay. Oh, even yeah. even John said, yes, he said he was going to do it tonight. So. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I better do it. So tonight, I huh? guess you're doing it tonight. <laughs> the people I, there's have no option B. <laughs> the people have spoken. You are doing it tonight. <laughs> yeah, I figured, like I said, if I could have got the magnet guy, if, you know, I could have did about 15 minutes with that and let Dennis finish off with that, but uh, I didn't have anything. I couldn't get a hold of him, so. Right. Well, that's okay. We'll, we'll just rock on with the treasure hunt. Oh, hunts. yeah. We're just rocking on. Heck, yeah. <laughs> rocking on. Rock it on. <laughs> rock on. Yeah. That's it. Well, let's, let's go ahead and play the Amra commercial, and, and we'll get that squared away, and we'll continue on. We'll be right back, everybody. 
Do you like to mine for gold, enjoy prospecting a nice crack in the bedrock, enjoy getting outdoors to camp, fish, hunt, and hike on your public lands? You plan your trip, load the gear, grab the dog, put the family in the truck, and drive off to a locked gate. A sign says you cannot enter or access your own public lands. Mining claims and public land owned by We the People are being designated as off-limits by our own government every single day. Are you concerned about the direction our government is going? Are you tired of seeing no access, no entry signs on your lands? We are, and we are fighting back. We are AMRA, America Mining Rights Association, the fastest growing small mining advocacy association in America. AMRA is a 501c3 not-for-profit formed by miners, hunters, off-roaders, retired military men and women to stop the insanity. AMRA was formed to educate, unite, and help the small miners and public land users on their rights, rights given to us by God. Do you want access to great mining claims for a small tax deduction? Deductible donation to their miners' legal fund, your family gains access to proven excellent mining claims across America for an entire year. AMRA challenges BLM, EPA, and the other agencies intent upon stopping you from enjoying your own lands. You are who pays these people's wages. It is time they listen to us. We need to unite. And that is what AMRA is doing. As you sit here right now, thousands of acres of public lands are being closed, locked, and blocked from use by you. Are you fed up yet? Join us. Get in on this fight, and let's restore America to what our families fought and died for. Freedom. Just visit AmericanMiningRights.com. AmericanMiningRights.com. Also, check us out on Facebook at American Mining Rights Association. AmericanMiningRights.com. All right, everybody, we're back. I hear that noise, and I, I swear it's, I don't know if it's Skype. I turned the volume way down on Skype. You know, and it's on your end. I hear the uh, yeah, I, 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 yeah, I hear it, and it's like I just don't, you know, want to lose people. There's a couple things I could try. Well, let's just keep on going. Yeah, you know, but you know, when we're doing the, it seems like when we're doing the pre-show, I don't hear it, and then we go live, and and I start hearing it. Yeah, John Hunt said the volume's fading in and out sometimes, and they hear static, but mm -hmm. Say. improper ground, maybe. Well, know. they might have heard the volume go up and down because I was turning it up and down trying to trying to do something. Yeah, it's like you're standing by power lines. That's kind of what I'm hearing, too. I turned my headphones up, and I can hear it. But it's like, yeah, what is it? You know? I, it makes me batty. Cause I, I want it perfect always, and it's like, no. yeah, well, that is what it is. <laughs> but you, I can't test it if we're not live, that's the thing. So, oh, well, yeah. we'll play with it later. Well, Dennis is gonna do some lost treasures for us tonight, everybody, and he's yep. going to be visiting Oregon. So, you about ready then, Dennis? You wanna... Oh, I'm always ready. Where's my little dink -a link a link a link of music? There she be. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody, sit back, grab your popcorn. <laughs> it's time for Lost Treasures with Dennis Day. <laughs> oh, man. Well, thank you for that intro, Tim. You're uh, welcome. <laughs> of course, tonight, everybody already knows that we're doing Lost Treasures in Oregon. So uh, I, I'm going to start it out with a little bit of history on it before we get to some of the Lost Treasures which I started, what, last week or week before. I like to do a little bit of history on where I'm, I'm doing before I get into it. So basically some of the history on it in Oregon was uh, gold was discovered in Jackson and Josephine counties in 1852 and in uh, Baker County in 1861. Gold mining provided an important economic base right up until World War II. The fact that a miner's pick is a prominent part of Oregon's flag is only a tiny tribute to the almost six million, six million with an M, troy ounces of gold so far extracted from this state. Most Oregonians agree that there's 
lots more where that came from. <clears throat> so that's just a little bit of the history. All right. We are going to start out in, uh, well, we'll start out in, in Hood River County. There's a couple of them that doesn't give a whole lot, but it is what it is. So that's actually that's actually where Ben's at. He's up there. My partner, he's around the Hood River area. Wow. Yeah, that's even looking at the pictures, man. It's be, it's just beautiful country. Cool. Around there. Um, it says uh, at Horse Thief Meadows near the Dalles, wherever. I guess that's how you pronounce it. D a l l e s. Dale. Yeah. Dow. Dalles. Dalles. All right. Yeah, near the Dalles. Twenty-five thousand dollars from a stagecoach robbery is believed to be hidden, and that's the all information it gives. Um, at Hood River. Isn't that weird? <laughs> you know, it's weird. They say to, it's weird as they say twenty-five thousand dollars back in that time. There could be like gold coins in that box. That to be more than twenty-five now. Oh, exactly. You know. Yeah. Definitely. And uh, who who is it? Who is it that we have back in the day? Do, do we have a mom this week that kind of since Chad's not here, what's that? What would that be worth today? Like twenty-five thousand. Oh, in gold. Yeah, you know, just money. Just in money, you know, twenty-five thousand back then. I wonder well, what it'd be worth today. Press seventy-five. Oh, oh yeah, right, probably. But like I said, you got banknotes, gold coins. You know, that stuff is going to be triple in value. Well, that's what right. I'm saying. It could be yeah. worth like two million or something. You know, today's value. No, that's true. <clears throat> All right, in uh, Douglas County, over a dozen lost gold mines are said to be located in the Steamboat Mountains in the vicinity of Dead Man and White Rock Butt between the South oh my gosh Umpqua River am I pronouncing that right Umpqua U-M-P-Q-U-A Umpqua South, <laughs> South Umpqua Might River be. and North Steamboat Creek so man, that doesn't have an amount on that so I have no idea um Oh my gosh! Okay, uh, in Glackamas County, and I'll be going back to a couple of them uh, to let you guys know. Like I'll be going back to uh, Hood River County. There's actually, I'll be there's there's I'm going back and forth here. I just like to jump around a little bit. Um, but in in Glackamas County, and man, you guys ought to see the picture I'm looking at. It's absolutely beautiful summer with the snow capped mountain. Uh huh. Oh man. <clears throat> it says in that area. Of government camp at base of Mount Hood. Uh, 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 that's what happened. Dude, you were breaking up. Treasure is said to be. Am I breaking up real bad? You was, yeah. Okay, I'll repeat that then. Repeat. Says in the area of camp at base of Mount Hood, a catch of stolen treasure is said to be buried. Okay. Is that better? Was that better? Better. Thank you. Uh, all right. Yeah, you, you said it fast enough it didn't catch you. <laughs> <laughs> better. <clears throat> Doesn't say how much treasure was there, but it just said there is some there. Um, in Jackson County, it uh, basically says in the 1860s, an old miner was said to have buried some $8,000 worth of gold dust near okay. Jacksonville. Okay. He returned years later to, to get the gold, which at that time was said to have been in the vicinity of J. N. T. Miller's Field. <clears throat> Though he dug up a large amount of the field, he could never find his buried catch. Oh, bummer. <laughs> so you know, if someone's, if, if someone's digging up their field, they buried it somewhere. Well, yeah. <laughs> Somebody moved his rock. <laughs> <laughs> That's what happened. Uh, you're probably right. Mm -hmm. You know, they're like, hey, it was by that one cactus. Well, since that happened, there's like 5,500 cactuses that was born from the other one. So, yeah. yeah. Yep. <laughs> yeah, you can't dig up a cactus. Well, you could back in those days. Sure. Mm -hmm. Back then, they didn't care. <laughs> Oh, you can't dig right. up cactus now? No. How come? 
Um, it's it's illegal. It's like a protected yeah. tree or something. Yeah, it's protected. It's protected tree. Absolutely. Wow. Really? I mean, think about it. People. I mean, it probably cactus were probably hardly any of them around, if any at all, if they would if they wouldn't stop that. Oh, true. I think they got. I think they got it. Like the only. There are certain mm-hmm. tribes that could still dig up saguaros and sell them to the housing market. But other than that, you can't. You go out and start digging up a cactus, you're going to be hung. Yeah. Really? Huh. You think you get in trouble for, for a turtle, <laughs> touching a turtle? Yeah, it's about the same thing. You oh, do the okay. thing with a cactus, you're really screwed. Mm-hmm. All right. In uh, Josephine County is where I'm going. Uh, it says an eight. 1878, a German prospector named Carl Meyer took shelter under a rock ledge during a storm along Miller Creek. While waiting out the rain, he spied a a badger disappear into a large hole in the nearby rocks. When the rain stops, he widened the hole and crawled through into a cave. There, he was excited to find a large vein of gold. Breaking off several pieces, he soon had it assayed, and it found it would be worth $415,000 per ton. Uh, he then returned Dang. to his camp on Miller Creek, but was unable to find the cave. He continued to search for the elusive cavern for the next six months without success. He later died of t- uh, tuberculosis, having never found the cave. Mm. Of course, he couldn't find a cave. He was that crazy anyway, climbing in after a badger anyway. Who who does that? What? I don't know. Well, I mean, really, if you see a badger going a hole, are you going to try to follow that badger? Uh, no. Hey, you know what's got back in the day when you didn't have Hot Wheels to play with and internet to scope on? <laughs> There's nothing else to do. Why not? <laughs> you have a badger? Chase badgers <laughs> in the holes? <laughs> Badgers are not nice animals. No, not at all. They're They're cuddly and cute and furry and likable, you know. Just go chase the badger. Just before they rip your face off. (laughs) (laughs) In in Lake County, an unusual stand of ancient Ponderosa pine forest growing out of the sand is the outstanding feature of the Lost Forest Research Natural Area which is located in the northeast portion of the Christmas Valley Sand Dunes area of critical environmental concern. Uh A remnant of a forest that existed in a cooler and wetter age, these pines survive on the half the typical annual precipitation for this tree species due to the unique soil and hydraulic properties of the area. The nearest forest is 40 miles to the northwest, northwest, Yet the pines continue to reproduce and thrive in the environment. Old growth juniper groves also exist in the lost forest. And then, you know, so of course, motorized vehicles are not. I just wanted to throw that in there because I thought it was a really cool article. Right. And in Lake County, it's just like a certain place that these pines just really thrive Mm -hmm. in Oregon. And it's just, I wish you guys could see these pictures. They're so beautiful. Mm -mm -mm Mm-mm-mm-mm. Could be they could be a good amount of black sands and stuff in the in the ground too. You never know. Yeah, it's it may be. I don't know, but it's right here. You know, it's it's just completely flat. It's all like flat land. So okay, there, you know, I don't see any pictures of any hills or or mountains or anything. You know, it's well, just a, they say gold's where you find it for a reason, though. You never well, know. Well, you're right. Gold is where you find it. Um, but this one here, this one here, it's really got me intrigued, and I. I'm going to put a mark on it because I want to do some more research on it on my book and list of stuff to come back to uh-huh. um, on Tillamook, Tillamook County. Tillamook. Now, this is uh, – it's right by the uh, – it looks like a, an ocean or, or a big lake. Okay. Um, legend has it that Spanish – that a Spanish ship carrying a large amount of gold – disappeared in a storm in 1679 okay. through the years a number of artifacts have been found on the sandy shores at Nalaham Beach leading historians to believe 
this is where the wreck washed up. Okay. Beautiful place, man. Nice. It looks awesome. Beautiful beach oh, overlooking yeah. the yep. well, Oregon. It doesn't. Oregon. Is it? So. Is there like a a lake what? that surrounds Oregon, or is this There's maybe just the a ocean. you know like one of the Great Lakes, or is this is no that wouldn't be in Oregon. Oh, Oregon's got the coast. Yeah, right. It's yeah. The ocean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what it is. It's, so that is, it's cool. Anyway, okay, we are gonna go to Coos County Coos in County. 1980. It was reported by treasure hunters that a large number of individual Spanish and French coins were recovered on the beach south of Cape Argo. Arago, A R A G O. Uh, possibly coming from know. an offshore wreck. Yeah, it's it's Argo. Argo. Okay, I had it right the first time. Overthinking it. That's um, like where you're talking about Coos County. That's what's where Coos Bay is. Ah, uh, gotcha. Which has gold on the beach? <laughs> hey, that you know what? It was. It would be cool. I went down. What was it two years ago to uh, South Carolina? Right. And we went over to the beaches and you know where the where the ocean's at. Uh huh. And of course I had my metal detector and had uh you know, one of those sand scoops and, and some other things and of course, you know, we, we set the uh I set the stuff down on the beach and not realizing how the tide goes out and then comes back in, you know, we're out there swimming in the water of course you know it's it's kind of fun to to do that you know just sit on the edge of it and let the waves kind of push you back a little bit and sure. of course then i get thinking about sharks you know what if sharks come up here and before you know it i didn't realize it i went we went to looking up there and our my metal detector and our towels and it was like in an inch or two of water already and was like oh my gosh i'm running up there <laughs> Because, you know, I didn't realize the tide going out and coming in. Right. Oh, yeah. You hear about it. You hear about it, but you just don't think about it. Right. Of course, then when I went to Alaska last year uh, with Caleb to uh, uh, Ray Russo's place, you know, then I really got to see what the meaning of tide coming in and out meant. Yeah. So. You really got to experience tide then, didn't you? Oh, boy, did we, yeah. And it seemed like the tide, when it came in and out there, it didn't mess around. It came in, and it went out quickly. So, yeah, buddy, they, they'll they even do the, they'll even make washes through the beach because it goes out so quick, like a creek. Oh, yeah, that, that, yeah it does. A lot of washes. And, and that's the thing, when whenever the tide would start coming in, and it got to a certain point, you better start rolling up your hoses. It's, it's time to it's time to go bye bye. You don't have time to anything. I mean, literally, we would leave the material in the sluices, and you know, because you're talking 100, 200 feet of hoses, the heavy hoses to roll up. Uh, yeah, it was uh, it was a job. I lost. I wish I could have kept losing it, but I lost some weight while I was there. That's for sure. <laughs> hey, that chasing the tide, right? Oh, absolutely. That's just crazy. Okay. Can, we are going to move. We got a couple of them in Crook County. Crook County? Crook County. Crook County. Uh, there is $50,000 in gold bars and coins hidden on the north side of the Ochoco River. Is that right? Ochoco? Uh, Ochoco. Ochoco River near Skelton Rock. Okay. And about two miles east of Prineville. This was a very popular campsite for miners and settlers to use. Okay. So. And you got it on the north side. <laughs> the what? I said you, and you got it, you said it was on the north side of it? Uh, yeah, north side of the Ochoco River near Skelton Rock. Oka, huh. And two, and about two miles east of Prineville. Okay. I wonder how'd, if, how'd I wonder you pronounce it, that, Tim? Ocacho. Ocacho, okay. Ocacho, thanks, Vandal. <laughs> I, I wonder. I wonder if the other side of the, of the river is like a a mountainside, so that's where everybody had to camp was on one side of the river because it's that's pretty, you know, pinpointing on what side of the river to look at. I don't know. I don't know. Um, 
another one in that Crook County, um, four Dutchmen found a rich plaster deposit in a canyon thought to be in the Okocho. How did you pronounce that again, Tim? Okocho. There you go, mountain, and washed out a fortune around 1850. When fall arrived, the catch they they catched their shovels and tools under a log and returned to California. Uh huh. For unknown reasons, they never returned to working the rich deposit in the Prineville area, and it has yet to be discovered. Ooh. So it's still out there, people. And their tools are still <laughs> hidden under a log. I'm sure they're probably, uh, <laughs> you know. Right? It'd be good to, uh, well, I don't know what you want to call it, hang up an old tool like that or something. Probably can't use it. But no, but if you found them, now. right, and if you yeah. found them tools hid under that log, you'd know you was close. Yeah, oh, buddy. Absolutely. Right? Absolutely, yes. Uh-huh. Um, we have a couple here in uh, Curry County. Uh, the first one being on U.S. Highway, on U.S. 101 Highway, at the mouth of the Rogue River, there is a place called Gold Beach. Okay. On this beach, many treasures are buried, and many of these treasures have been found. Okay. So, that's where I was at. Lost oh, and some found. That's where Swifty was. Yeah, that's where I was digging on the beach at. This is Gold Beach. That's so cool. Yeah, I got, like I said, I got, think I got... Cleaned out, I've got three grams, and I bet you I've probably got about another five or six grams in the stuff that I haven't cleaned out. But it is fine, fine, fine gold. <laughs> oh, but this was treasure, right, Dennis? Oh, yeah, this is this is treasure. Told you, Scott. Absolutely. Should have been metal detecting. Yeah, I know. I, I, I thought about that a couple of times, but then, you know, there's certain rules up there, too, about the beaches. They're really, you know, they're, they're like a lot cantankerous about the beaches, so... <sighs> I never looked it up. Okay, Roger. Of course, like I said, I was running a gold cube just for sand, uh, sand gold. So. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Okay. Continue. Um, on, the dude. other one, the other one there was uh, west of Langlis. Okay. On U.S. on U.S. one hundred and one along the coast are the ruins of the of the Pacific City. Over four hundred people and forty five fishing boats were lost to a tidal wave. In this fishing port in 1894, uh-huh. and it's, it's saying that you know there'd be good metal detecting possibilities sure. in that area. Those are the great places. Yes, especially from a tidal, you know, a known recorded tidal wave and all these boats and stuff. Oh man! Yep. Can you imagine? Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, in Douglas County, miners from the late 19th century buried their pouches of gold nuggets. By the small gold mining town of Days Creek, okay. located south of the Umpqua, or however you pronounce it, river, seven miles northeast of Cannonville. Okay. They hid uh, bags of nuggets. <laughs> bags of nuggets. Bags. Man, that's better than going and getting a nugget happy meal from McDonald's. That's Man, right. I'd love to find a bag of nuggets. That'd just be sick. <laughs> Wouldn't it? <laughs> you know, can you, can you just imagine? It's just like Shannon and on one of his videos where he was metal detecting, you know, and he had a target, and it he thought it was trash, and he he was just getting the lid to it, and he, it was like a mason jar, or like a small type of mason jar type thing, and and had oh my gosh, how many a couple remember. ounces of gold yeah. or something in it, or yeah, yeah something like that. Know. It was amazing, you know. Yep. You never know when you're gonna hit that. Nice little cha-ching. Yeah. yeah, I know it, right? A bag of nuggets. Um, bag of nuggets. That's better than a bag <laughs> of cats. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> um, we're going to swing back to Hood River County again. All right. Um, there's stories of buried loot from a holdup uh, bar- uh, being buried near the base slope of Mount Hood. The treasure said to be about $85,000 in gold. Uh-huh. So, I don't have no clue on the value now, but who? No, well, eighty-five thousand dollars in gold. Yeah, that'd be nice to know what it'd be worth today. Yeah, at close to fifteen hundred an ounce. Yeah. Uh huh. And fifteen hundred and rising. Uh huh. 
Um, in Lincoln County, it is believed that there are several major pirate treasures are buried in the 20-mile stretch of beach between Cascade Head and Newport. Okay. That's a lot of beach. Yeah. <laughs> 20-mile stretch. Yeah, that's a lot of but beach. But it's supposed to be several major pirate treasures buried there. So oh, okay. that, must have been, that must have been the area where, you know, pirates was some type of a easy in, easy place to hide type area. You right. Know? Must have been the hot spot. It had to have been. The meeting um, place. We have a couple. We have, actually have two of them. That's all I have left. And they're both in Tillamook County. Tillamook? Tillamook County. Um, County. The first one is a chest of gold and silver. is said to be buried on a slope of... Oh, my gosh. Nikakoni Mountain. You ready for this one? You got a pen? Because you're going to write these. Write this down. All right, hold I'm going to give you the letters. All right, hold on. I got a pen. You got a pen? Yep. Sure do. All right. And wait. Wait. It's N. Wait. You're breaking start up. Over. E. Hold on. Wait. Start over. Because you were breaking up real Holy bad. crap. N E. I got to start over after. Yeah. You were... Oh, I'm breaking up. Is it better? <laughs> yeah, start over. <laughs> Go. I was like, man. Nope. <laughs> okay, N. Okay. Do it again. Yeah. You got N. 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 Okay. I got N. I got N. Okay, <laughs> E. E. A. E. A. N. E. E. A. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No, N E A. Okay. H K. Wait. N E A. H K. H K. O H. O H. N I E. N I E. I didn't realize it was going to take five minutes to spell this out. No, 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 It's Niakahoni. <laughs> yeah, Niakahoni. Nak, Niako, Niakoni, Niakoni. <laughs> Niakoni Mountain. Niakoni. So I will read it all over again. It's just two lines. Wait. It says, a, "Huh?" Vandal says it's Nik Nikani, Nekani, Nekani. N e h k a n n e e is how it's pronounced. Nakani. Nakani. Nakani? Okay. Right. A right. chest of gold and silver is said to be buried on a slope of Nakani Mountain. There you go. Yee. And the last one of the night in Oregon of Lost Treasures with my ding ling ling lingy noise <laughs> is a Spanish treasure catch estimated at two million dollars. Two comes from a million dollars. Two million dollars comes from an ancient Chinook Indian legend that says an early Spanish treasure ship or ships were beached along the coast and the survivors buried the treasure. Oh. Two. You said the Chinook? Yes. The Chinook. Yeah, the Chinook. Two well, million. Well, the, the, the Spanish cash, I could probably believe that because if the Spanish buried anything, it was it was probably quite a bit. Like, yeah, Spanish always had a bunch of money they had. Like Vandal said, the Goonies. Remember that movie, The Goonies? Hey, yes. you guys. Well, all in Oregon, you know, see? That's where that, <laughs> that's where that movie comes from, you know? Them treasures, the pirates. Well, yeah, the, like Willie. I said, those the Spanish were really, really. People think the Chinese were good when they were over here. The Spanish were really good too, especially at finding sources, because like I said, they would line up at the bottom of a mountain, and as soon as one, two people or two two of the crowds found gold, they would focus on that and then go up the mountain and dig closer, and then go up the mountain and dig closer, and they'd find the source just like that. They were good. Uh, well, they are definitely. Yeah, awesome. and they had lots of money back then too. Oh, yeah, they had all the boats and everything. The Spaniards. Coins, boats. The Spaniards did, 
right? Yes. Uh, gotcha. gotcha. Absolutely, yes. And that is our episode on Lost Treasures in Oregon. <laughs> Thank you for tuning in. And next <laughs> week, we will have Lost Treasures somewhere on the East Coast. <laughs> <laughs> Any idea where? No, I have no idea where. Start getting some votes in for East Coast. East Coast, let's hear it. Put it in the chat room. That's right. We'll be watching. <laughs> I'll let the, I'll let the people decide. That's right. Let the viewers pick. That's right, what I think. All right. So mm -hmm. be sure to tune mm -hmm. in Sunday nights for Dennis Dayton's Lost Treasures in America. Until then, see ya. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Dennis. Oh my this has been brought to you by Gold Prospector Space Radio, and we are not liable for anything said or done on here from a co-host or anybody calling in. Thank That's you. Right. <laughs> hey man, I heard that. <laughs> hey, you gotta got a what? Got a what? Say it a little bit faster. Say it long. You're gonna have to say that whole thing faster. all over again. Nope. You're gonna have to when you say that, Scott. What? We couldn't hear a word you said. It was, it, it, you can you hear me up. now? It was breaking yeah. up real bad. We couldn't hear you. Try you it. But I'm going to close this out. That would probably help. <laughs> it sounded like the robot Dennis was here. What'd you close out? <laughs> Is he that better? There. Let's see. Yeah. Try to tell us what you was going to tell us. Okay. What I was saying is Scott should have said that a lot faster. Oh, yeah, like real fast. Like, you know, like the guy in the, like the guy in the commercial I, that I tried to say it fast enough. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you kind of get the same voice that the guy does. Yeah, you're still breaking up, Dennis. It sounds like not as bad. Not but, as bad, but well, still bad. I don't know what's bad. going on. Yeah, well, there. What'd you do? Just get closer to the microphone? I don't have anything else on. Well, I'm glad it's not my computer this week. <laughs> yeah, that's what I did. Get close to the microphone and talk to me. I mean, is is that, is that a lot better? Yeah, that helps. Is that better? Yeah, that helps. Right there. Yeah. Yeah, that, that helps. Well, I guess the microphone like looks like we're in right now. Well, well where do you have close it? you got to have it. Yeah, you got to have it close. I mean, mine is touching my forehead. <laughs> well, I'm used to is My that son. even better now? That's even can better. Oh, really wow. oh, God, hear yeah. Me now. Oh, yeah, we can hear you now. Plain as I day. I have... My lips are touching the microphone. <laughs> Too much information. <laughs> <laughs> Too much information. Maybe not quite that close. Maybe just back it off a spinch. You know, quarter inch. <laughs> Get your lips off the microphone. Is that the snowball you're touching? That's what she said. <laughs> yeah, I, I got the microphone literally right next to my mouth. Too close. Yeah, too close. Oh, my God, what a picture. Come back about a half an inch. Do not turn on video. Oh, he's got the video on. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I said, oh, what a picture. Yeah, try it about there. Is this better right here? Yeah. Is this better right here, guys? Right there, yeah. Right here. Yeah. What about here? No. Is it good right here? No, it fades. So, right, right, right there. there. Yeah, you know, you and that microphone, are, that microphone's your best friend. Not that good a friend. <laughs> <laughs> There's something genetically wrong with that there. guy. The microphone's my best friend now. Yeah. <laughs> Ah, uh, too much information. Too much video there, Rich. You missed it again. <laughs> Rich, you got to fix your video. <laughs> that way you. I don't know about I this think at all. He... <laughs> <laughs> oh, mercy! Funny, funny. Hey, I was. You know, I, I should do this right real quick. Wait, hey, a second. There, see my new do. Oh man, Scott, you shaved your head. Well, no, I always shave my head, oh. but now I got my <laughs> shave my cows. Oh, you got oh, you got that rid of your beard. 
<laughs> yeah, it looks like you got a broom on your under your. I didn't know you shaved your head. <laughs> I know. People ask broom. me, goes they go, how do you eat? I'm like, open your mouth. <laughs> Scott, you got a Scott, Scott you should it. wax that and twist it up one time. Heck, he can have crumbs on the table and use his mustache to sweep them off. <laughs> wax that bad boy up and, twi and twist it up. Well, it, it, but the thing is, is I got the bottom, I trimmed the bottom out to go down my chin. So if I wax it up, it'll, it'll, it'll look weird. But it, do that and put a monocle in, and then you'll look like the Monopoly guy. <laughs> I've got, I've got a monocle. Uh, do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. You should do it, Scott. That would be we, funny. We, there's actually a. It's funny thing. There's a video game that's in uh, down here at the casino that we go to, and it's called the Monopoly game, and it's got. A, he does that. Don't collect two hundred dollars. Don't pass go. And he goes. Hee, hee, hee. He's got this real weird <laughs> laugh. You're like, I don't want to play that game. I'm telling you, that would be cool. I'd love to see that. Uh, just... Don't forget, we still got the Crony Club going on on the site. Hey, uh, we have our Crony Club giveaways. And what? we also have our patron, so. Yeah. No, when, we don't when have are, patron When's your next no giveaways? More. We don't have patron no more. Oh, that's right. We don't yeah, have patron we don't no have more. That okay, no more. I'm sorry. No, we just got our Crony Club. Just us. We still have the donation button, though. Yes. So if you oh, want to yeah, donate, you still hit that, that button. Yep, definitely. Appreciate that. Every little bit helps. Keep us going. Keep us around here. Having all this fun. <laughs> and educating each other. Learning <laughs> stuff. So you got, you got, is, is, who's, go, who's going out this weekend? Who's going to be prospecting? Rich for crabs. Yeah, not <laughs> prospecting for gold, though. Yeah, me, I can't do anything. It's too hot. Me neither. Can't. Can't I hope to get out somewhere this weekend. I'm sure you will. I got like tons of people on my Facebook that's finding gold, and I keep trying to get with them and find out where they're at, you know, where they're at, what they're doing. Uh huh. Because those, like I said, I'd like to get a couple guests on here, just regular Joe gold diggers that you know we see posting pictures all the time. I'd like to get those guys on here and get their concept of what they've been doing and, and right. what they've been working and stuff like that, you know. Right. I see some. They're talking about the browsers and. Uh, <clears throat> the chat room and I think Firefox works best for the site I I have Google Chrome and it's use, always worked good for me Chrome, between that I, and Chrome and, yeah, I was gonna I say it's those two Chrome or Firefox that's the only two that really work well work I had the best. Firefox I had Firefox now I use Chrome mm -hmm. no I have always used Firefox I stick with that one my favorite. Good. Firefox is good. Yeah, it, up, they, you know they're always doing updates to the browser. And I just like it. <clears throat> always, always works good with GPS too. You know, you get definitely see the whole picture. Chrome, I don't know. I, I, they say Chrome, but I've not used it. I go. Yeah, Rich, I've never had a Rich said he's never had a problem with it, so I'm. You know. uh, that's guys would say I'm on Chrome. I've never had any issues with it. No, you just have computer issues. Yeah, like when you call with Skype, if I answer it, instead of just waiting until it does, it quits ringing and just join the call, if I answer it, it just automatically frees up my computer. That's makes me so mad. I don't know what that is. That's just weird. That's, that's don't even make sense, does it? Yeah? No. Yeah. Yep, time yeah, reboot. I don't know. It's reboot time, you know? And remember, just for a little fact, everybody out there, it's in the West Coast. I didn't know if you were on here earlier, but they keep your eyes out for the weather. Flash floods are happening. Monsoons are happening. I mean, we're building one up right now as we speak tonight. Uh, the wind's kind of died down, so I don't know if it's going to happen, but probably will north. Uh -huh. So just keep your eye, keep your eyes on the weather, guys. If you're out there doing any kind of nighttime digging or anything like that, just sure. keep aw be yeah, aware. Definitely. Be aware. How are we sounding out there too? I, I believe the static sounds gone. I do. I don't hear any static. I don't neither. No more. <clears throat> but. Can everybody hear us okay? Everything sound good, minus the weird staticky sound we had earlier. Let me know. Keep an eye on it. And don't forget, we still got some of those fancy fancy crony club hats available. If anybody's interested in one, okay, cool. Thanks, John. Appreciate it, brother. 
And I'm waiting. I'm waiting for the other hats. I know you're waiting on Prospector Radio hats. Well, I got to get rid of these Crony Club hats. <laughs> I'll, I'll purchase the Prospector Radio ones next. Okay. How many you got left? How many you got left? Oh, Crony Club hats. I'm looking. No, you guys talk amongst yourselves while I look. <laughs> well, but you know. For the love of God, someone please order them so I can get my hats. I got seven. <laughs> I, got, I got seven. Those hats are seven. pretty cool looking. They're awesome. Gotta I love be them. The black with the black. Three people out there. Black with the black, man. I'm telling you, it just looks cool. It does. It's my dress hat, I call it. You know? well, I, 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 know, I, they look cool. too, I think I got one beanie left too, Rich. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, I thought you said that last week. And then. I can't reach into that box over there, but there could be a, a regular crony club hat too. How much are they? Let everybody know. Twenty, and that includes shipping. Good. Yeah, I, I That's ordered that, either that big the batch. I ordered. The regular ones, right? Correct. Yeah, I think I got one beanie left. Those things are cool. Yep. Those are. Yeah, the big batch of beanies that I bought from you, I gave them away as Christmas gifts. Did you? Yeah. Hey, good idea. Yeah, you know, real good idea. Those were nice beanies. They really was. We lost Scott, and then Scott popped back in. What happened, Scott? Yeah, I, I just refreshed my page. Right back in. Yep. Oh, when you refreshed your page. Oh, okay, it kicked you. Gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, so I'll check and see. Uh, yeah, I remember that. I remember that one night a long time ago when I thought everything went out. I'm sitting here cussing, and I'm still on the radio somehow because I couldn't hear you guys. Uh-huh. But, <laughs> yeah, we yeah. remember that. I yeah, just refresh remember, things now. We remember that <laughs> night really well. <laughs> it wasn't my fault. I thought it was totally dead. I didn't think you guys could hear me. Oh, we heard you loud and clear. <laughs> I get. I tend to get upset when things don't work right. So oh. about eight thousand other people. We noticed, okay. we noticed that we got upset. Yeah. Yeah. Someone we, doing the dishes. I think or Scott's doing dishes while he's doing the show. <laughs> Well, she's she's back here doing she's not doing dishes, but she's cooking something. She's trying to be quiet. <laughs> oh, oh, okay. Well, tell her it's okay. Since it's her, we forgive her. <laughs> <Where's> she? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and and, and, she's, and she's and she's cooking, so you can't argue about that. Right, right. You don't ever want to mess with your dinner, so. <laughs> it's like no i was gonna make a i was gonna make a special dish tonight and then i thought about it's wednesday so i turned around so i'll make that tomorrow oh what was the special dish you was gonna make well there's a bacon wrap meatloaf recipe that i caught on to and i kind of thought that looks because i do a lot of bacon wrap shrimp and i do a lot of bacon wrapped a lot of stuff but there's a meatloaf that you can make and it actually looked pretty good it's bacon wrapped too and then you could put the top barbecue or you could you know you could use tomato sauce on top or whatever you want to do ketchup i don't know but i don't think ketchup and bacon goes too well so i think i'll be putting yeah i think i'll put i'll be i think i'll be doing barbecue over the top of it and then you yeah you just slice it down but it comes out pretty good nice keep talking keep talking i'm looking i'm seeing something I might have checking it more checking the numbers yeah. no, well checking. let's see what are you looking for Beanie. well i, I guess I guess if we're going to keep talking what you're looking for, you'll have to tell me when you get back. But um, let's see. We're going to have. Uh, hey, when is the Crony Club drawing? You guys never did answer that. No, it's, it's look on the page. <laughs> oh, oh, it's on the page? Uh, yeah. yeah. Actually, I got uh, like four beanies. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I got to right? wait even longer now. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. When I, I move, Crony I, Club giveaway. This month's giveaway will be a bottle of some beautiful gemstones. Do you see them, Peridot? That thing's amazing. Oh, yeah. Those it's Peridot. Peridot donated these amazing Peridot. It's Peridot. Each bottle. I call them Peridot. <laughs> well, it says P E R I D O T. I still say it's Peridot. I, that's how I pronounce it. It's like Peridot to me. Okay. I call it Peridot. It's, it's Peridot. It's, it's like French. Crony Club member from Steve France Peridot. for this awesome donation. Thank you. Peridot. 
announced the winner at the end of August or the first of September. Right, Peridou. So, Peridou. Hey, David's awesome, man, because you know you know that little uh, that wooden sign that I that I put up looks like the guy yeah. you know go panic. Uh huh. Yeah, Steve made, Steve made that sent oh, that to me. Cool. Okay. Yeah, I split them up. I I made I you know I dumped them out and split them up, and made them half nugget, half garnets each. So you're gonna have two separate giveaways in? Yeah, we'll no, we'll do one this month and then one next month or something. You know, like awesome. that. Maybe yeah, throw something else in there with it. Pretty cool though. Glad I found them. Out. Yeah, they are. Yeah, those are beautiful stones. Now, Rich, you're gonna have this Sunday. You're gonna have uh, your segment, right? Yeah, I'm not sure what I'll do yet. Okay. Hey, uh, magnet fishing, Rich. <laughs> yeah, I might do it magnet fishing. <laughs> yeah, that'd be cool. Cause you're going magnet fishing, so you're gonna get some experience at it. And yep. You can let us know and all that. That'd be cool. Just do it on magnet fishing. Heck yeah, yeah. It sounds that's like a good fun. good thing for yeah. Sunday. Yeah, heck yeah. Yep. I think that'd be interesting. Yeah, you know, different magnets, and costs. And, oh yeah, it'll be fun. That'll be cool. Looking forward to it. Cool, cool. And then. And then. And then, what time is it? Oh, gosh, it's like going on 1030. Okay. Yeah, no, I've, I got to get ready. Well, I, I go to work in about an hour and a half, so. Right. Well, we'll go ahead and wrap it up. And we, like I said, we just want to thank everybody for tuning in tonight and hanging out with us a little bit. And, you know, why we just shoot the breeze and. Don't forget to join us Sunday night at 7.30 Eastern Standard Time. We'll be back. And, you know, thanks again for all the help getting that noise out, you guys. We appreciate it. And have a great week. And we'll talk to everybody Sunday. So take us out of here, guys. Good night, night Gold Diggers. Diggers. <laughs> <laughs> be sure to tune in next Sunday at 7.30 for another great show. For updates and more info, please go to www.prospectorsradio.com.